What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to go over where are good places for you guys to go to see moose in the wild. Um, now I know a lot of people actually have probably kind of mixed feelings about this because moose are everywhere in some of the areas that you live but I was like you know for those of us who don't have to deal with them on a daily basis where can we go to you know see them in a more safer environment. Uh, so yes we're going to go over that today. Uh, before we do though please remember to hit that like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias which are coming up at the end. And let's get into this article. Okay, guys, today's article comes from TravelExpenseLive.com. Please go there and show them some love. This is the seven best national parks to see moose. All right, we got some moose facts here. Uh, I just want to shoot through these somewhere. They are the largest member of the deer family. They can grow up to 1,500 pounds or 700 kilograms. Uh, and they actually eat a lot of water plants, and that's why their nose is kind of long like that. And they spend a lot of time swimming around in the water. So, also, that's like really cool picture because that thing right there is soaking wet isle royal national park in michigan only accessible by ferry private boat or seaplane isle royal is a safe island haven for moose located in michigan's lake superior close to the Can canadian close to the canadian border isle royal national park encompasses this large island as well as does a smaller end since 1980, Isle Royal moose population has fluctuated between 500 and 2,400 animals. Here's the next one, Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. One of the best national parks for wildlife viewing, Yellowstone National Park is world famous for its abundant megafauna from gray wolves, grizzlies, and black bears to American bison, elk, pronghorn, and moose. It's a wildlife lover's paradise. Relative to other large mammals, however, the moose population is smaller in Yellowstone National Park than in many other parks in this list. This is probably due to the large number of other undulates such as elk and bison. That's not to say you can't see moose in Yellowstone, though. Rather, the opposite, in fact, although there are currently fewer than 200 moose in Yellowstone National Park, the animals do tend to congregate in the same areas. Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Yellowstone's neighbor to the south may be the smallest of the two Wyoming National Parks, but it does have more moose. The Grand Teton moose population consists of hundreds of animals. In the wildlife-rich Greater Yellowstone ecosystem, moose are concentrated heavily in Grand Teton National Park. In fact, the park has one of the densest concentrations of moose in the national parks. Glacier National Park in Montana. Wildlife viewing is one of the most popular activities in Glacier National Park. Along with bears, bighorn sheep, and mountain goats, moose are one of the stars of the show in this spectacular mountain. Yet Glacier National Park in, and its stunning lakes, rivers, and forests provide an ideal place for moose to not only live but thrive. If you're lucky, you may able, be able to see moose in or near the park's marshy areas, slow-flowing streams, and shallow lakes. Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. Spectacular Rocky Mountain National Park is not just a great place for hiking and scenic driving, it also offers some of the best moose watching in America. They are a pretty common sight in the park to the delight of many visitors. Moose population in Colorado are doing great and there are about 2,500 animals in the state. In the Rocky Mountain National Park, your chances of seeing them are best on the west side which is the wet, wettest part of the park. Denali National Park in Alaska. Along with grizzly bears, wolves, doll sheep, and caribou, moose are of the big five mammals in the Denali National Park. The opportunity to spot these formidable animals is something many visitors look forward to. Although Denali National Park is easily accessible from towns like Anchorage and Fairbanks, you can only reach its wild interior on so-called narrated trips, tour buses, or non-narrated trips, transit buses. Voyagers National Park in Minnesota. A vast region of lakes and islands and lakes on islands within Lake Voyagers National Park is a dream destination for all living things that enjoy being around water. It's one of America's greatest parks for canoeing, kayaking, and fishing. While it's also home to numerous water-loving animals, including moose, this remote national park in northern Minnesota has everything a moose could want. From thousands of miles of lakeshore to pristine boreal forest, it provides the perfect home for abundant food for these large mammals. Although the moose population in Voyagers National Park isn't particularly huge, it has been relatively consistent for decades. Currently, there are about 40 to 50 moose in Voyagers National Park. Okay, guys. Well, there you have it. If you guys wanted a quick little guide to the best spots to go and see wolves in what I would consider a relatively safer way to see them, going to the national park. It's also supporting our uh, America's, like, wild areas which is actually really important and it's a great vacation for your family so there you go guys those are some places where you guys can see moose in the wild if you guys like please remember to hit that like comment subscribe as well as turn on all those notification bells and i will see you guys in the next video